Center. The governor says it's time to help provide for families in New York and reflecting on the death of his father, he gave an emotional appeal for paid family leave in New York State during his State of the State address earlier this week. The governor insisted workers should not have to decide between being able to pay the bills and taking time off to care for a sick, a sick loved one or maybe a baby. Today we got answers on exactly what the plan would entail and our Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard is here to break this all down for us. Kimberly, the part of the plan that's seen as controversial right now is who would be funding this? Yeah, that's right, Ann. And the answer to that is it would be funded by the employee. So workers would pay into the system that more than 7 million New Yorkers could then benefit from. But critics of this plan say that doesn't take the burden completely off of small businesses, and that is a concern. Paid by employees who can get 12 weeks of pay. It's a proposal bringing both Democrats and Republicans to their feet. Mandatory paid family leave funded by employees who would give a dollar a week from their paychecks in exchange for 12 weeks of paid time off. The governor's office says workers could eventually get 50 percent of their salary if they're caring for a new baby or a sick family member. Deborah McGillis says that would have been a huge help last year when she took two months off work without pay to care for her dying sister. I made a promise to her that I would be with her the entire time that she was at hospice. I would not leave her side and I would be there the moment that she died. And that's what I did. But McGill says it wasn't easy and not just because she was losing a loved one. It was really finagling and just know it was another stress added to a very stressful time. Yeah. Rebecca Paley knows about stressful times. She says she could have used paid family leave seven months ago when she had Mason. Very hard struggle. Um, you had to save a lot once we found out to try to cover that. Still, the state business council has concerns, mainly for small businesses. So you need to find a replacement worker. You need to ensure that they have adequate training. So there's additional costs that are involved. The president and CEO of the business council is also concerned that workers are eligible for this after only four weeks of work. She says this is an issue best handled on the federal level. As for the governor's plan, it would have to pass the full legislature and it wouldn't go into effect until at least 2018. Anne. Thank you, Kimberly.